Nature has many lethal predators who would love to eat you. Most of these are animals. But what about plants? Well, there's one plant that thrives in foggy areas and has a taste for insects. The Venus flytrap. What would happen if a giant one trapped you? Could you survive? How long would it take to be full? How long would it take to be fully consumed? And do Venus flytraps actually like the taste of humans? This is Stefo, and here's what would happen if you were swallowed by a Venus flytrap. In some of our other videos, we've looked at what would happen if you were swallowed by a whale or even an anaconda. Well, how about a carnivorous plant? Venus flytraps mainly get their energy from the soil, but to stay healthy, they need to eat a few insects per month during the growing season. Okay, so you're not an insect, but a giant flytrap might not be able to tell the difference. So how exactly would it eat? The Venus flytrap has three stiff trichomes that are like sensitive hairs on each of its inner leaves. When they get touched, the plant gets interested, but it won't snap shut immediately. If a little piece of dirt or a leaf lands on it, the plant will ignore it and stay open. But when something or someone bends these hairs more than three times, like a fly or a terrified human, its mouth snaps shut, trapping its prey. This trapping motion is called thick monasty, and it's very nasty indeed. In this scenario, you'd probably want to play dead for about 12 hours. If you're lucky and very still, the trap might open. But what if you weren't so lucky? Once you're in its grasp, the Venus flytrap will stay shut to keep bacteria out of its leaves. It squeezes tightly around you while secreting an antiseptic juice to stop you from turning rotten. It essentially is a trap that can be used to keep bacteria out of its leaves. Once inside, you would be completely sealed, like some sort of biological coffin. With little oxygen, you'd probably pass out pretty soon. If you try to escape, any movement will provoke the plant to start producing enzymes and highly acidic digestive fluid. These enzymes will absorb any sodium you might have in your body, helping the Venus flytrap transport nutrients. Plants generally don't like sodium, but the flytrap needs it to survive. Humans are also rich in phosphorus and nitrogen, which are vital to the plant's survival and lacking in its natural environment. After about 5 to 12 days of digesting you, the plant would be back open for business. Whatever's left of you would likely be washed away by the rain or blown away by the wind, so what makes the Venus flytrap so appealing to its prey? Well, the plant produces a sweet nectar that's irresistible to bugs making the flytrap. A perfect natural insecticide for gardeners. That want to avoid adding chemicals to the plants. If there are a lot of mosquitoes where you live, it might be a good idea to plant a bunch of these around your home. Some companies have tried selling the flytraps extract as a homeopathic supplement, claiming that they are not good for humans and claiming that it fights all kinds of ailments. But these claims have been mostly debunked. So don't get trapped into thinking it will solve your medical problems. The real question is could scientists actually grow one big enough to eat a human? Well, they'd have to manipulate the plant's DNA. It would take a 120-foot long flytrap to catch a 6-foot human, which probably isn't going to happen anytime soon. Flytraps have been gut and lava life known to die from severe indigestion when fed ground beef, so chances are they wouldn't find you very tasty either. Frankly, I'd be more concerned about falling into a pool of piranhas. Subscribe Sifo for more interesting topics. Thanks for watching.